we can try this. We got Kevin. Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, Thanks sorry to keep you waiting you so long. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just wanted to call in. I guess it's too late to convert y'all to Christianity. No, well, it's never too late. I mean, I was a Christian for 20-some-odd years, okay, and, and my mind... I got one, one point. I was a little disturbed when I heard y'all were drawing, uh, you know, comparisons between Christianity and Muslim, Islam. You know, I just I just have a hard time uh, coming to grips with, you know, over over there, if you're hello, if you're gay, well, you get your head cut off. Over here, you have a spirited discussion. Yeah, but that's so, because not, that's because there are secular values that are holding your religion in check and have forced it to grow up and mature. Yeah, and, well, and it's also not. I mean, okay, it's it's it's, it's a valid point that, for example, Muslims have Sharia law and they have much harsher penalties yes. for things that they consider sinful than you have in the Christian culture. But that doesn't mean that there aren't uh, some people who do take it to an extreme over here. Even I don't know if you've heard of these folks, but there is a group of. Uh, Christian, uh, there's an extremist little sect of Christianity called Dominionism. And uh, these are folks who really believe in the Christian nation concept of America to a very fanatical degree. They want Old Testament law to replace the U.S. Constitution. Some of them have the ear well, of politicians not, in the White House. But I mean, but a lot of these either. people do want. Sides, you know what I'm saying? But, but a lot of these people do we want need to be capital. careful about what, you know, who we're fighting against. Well, well, I think we're fighting against bad ideas. Um, you know, that's what we like to think that we're fighting against. And the point that I was trying to make is that they're... You know, we just say, hey, you know, if you're going to be gay and all that, just read the Bible. We want, you know, we're not going to... I think a true Christian will turn around and condemn you. They want to help you, but they think it's wrong, but they're going to move on and not... Uh, they shouldn't judge you. I don't, I don't judge you, but... Yeah, well, well, you're well, supposed I, to put them to death. Yeah, I mean that not is not here, not here. We it, according to your holy it. book, yes. according to your holy book, you're supposed to put them to death. It's Leviticus. I don't. I don't believe that's the case. Okay. So you don't uh, believe your book? Well, I'll read the scripture. I don't, I don't believe that that's what the Bible says. Really? Okay, okay let's find I, it. I do not believe it. Okay, no. we're going to find that for you. Uh, but there are, I mean, there are dominionist Christians in this country who do want to see capital punishment enacted for homosexuality and. They base that upon this scripture that uh, Matt is about to read here. I think it's uh, 1920. Give me yeah, I, I go into 18. There we go. 19. Uh, if a man sleeps with a woman who's a slave girl promised to another man... Well, let me scroll down. It's not 20. Or maybe it's 2019. So I get them sometimes inverted. Anyway, you can, you can keep talking to him. I'll okay. find it. But, but there's so... Yeah, just because that... I think that Matt has a very good point in that... Uh, the influence of secularism and enlightenment values in the West, in Europe and America, has been East and the Far East. That's uh, you know, and, and so because of that, this is why you don't have this fanatical rush to uh, you know kill the game. I got it. We got to get this in. We're almost out of time. Leviticus twenty thirteen and twenty fifteen are two good examples. If a man lies with a man, as one lies with a woman, both of them done has done what is detestable. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. And the same penalty is for those who lie with animals. We only got thirty seconds left. Thanks to all our callers. So Thanks to is. Martin for joining us. It is in your Bible. Please come down to IHOP uh, if you'd like to join us. All atheists, or atheist friendly people are welcome. We'll be back. We'll be back next week for the tenth anniversary celebration. Okay. For people who've been watching clips on youtube uh if this clip happens to make it to youtube it's worth pointing out that you can watch the entire show uh by going to the website www.atheist-experience.com as well as archive shows by clicking on the show archive there most of them are on google video some of them are on blip tv